can we talk a little bit more about, you know, what really good decision making? I know you've identified the, the first two steps and maybe we can recap those and put them in a in a full sequence on the three things that really make it possible for us to have effective decision making. What are those three things if you don't mind sharing those in, in their entirety? Yeah. So the first step which we hit on was challenge the constraints. And and that really is about taking a step back before you just see a problem and kind of take a uh a puppy approach to it. You see a ball and you just want to chase it and just decide. Instead, you really need to step back and actually see what constraints are holding you back from a big breakthrough. Step two is forcing yourself to not just contemplate all of the ways that you will be tremendously successful and instead take time, take energy to actually distill out how something you're thinking about could be a failure and then spending the time to mitigate those outcomes that really helps you on the path of deciding what the right decision ends up being. The third step, which we haven't hit on yet, is what I referred to in the TEDx talk called check the basics. And the reason is I have had the pleasure of working with some incredibly innovative companies and some high level leaders at these organizations. And I'm flabbergasted sometimes that it's the small details that really trip them up. And what I see time and time again is the more complex the decision is, the more critical those small details become and the easier they are to overlook. So if you kind of bundle it all together, if you challenge the constraints, you embrace that pre-mortem and then you ensure that the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted and you check the basics, you really put together a more streamlined approach to decision-making than I think a lot of us just implement by nature.